Hello my friends, it's me again, your favorite denture wearer. Sun's shining and it's a little chilly out here, but not bad. Bike is filthy from the snow. Goodness, can never keep that old girl clean. <laughs> well, here she is. I got the van. It made it back from Colorado just fine. It's ugly, but it'll do the job I want to do with it. And my wife was extremely happy with the car. Very, very excited. Um, very excited and nervous because this is all she's driven since she got her driver's license four years ago. It's all she's driven. So she was nervous and excited at the same time, but now she loves the car. You can see that video on my Bill's Life Like It or Don't channel. I did an entire video about going up there and giving her the car and coming back with the van. That's on my Bill's Life Like It or Don't channel. That is linked in the description. You can click on that link and go to my channel and watch that video. It comes out on Wednesday. So, yeah, it was a good trip up there. I got to see my wife for an hour or two. That was good. <laughs> we haven't seen each other in four years. <laughs> work. I work here, she works there, and we just, neither one of us can afford to go back and forth at this stage of the game. So, uh, yeah, it's all good. But today I was talking to a gentleman that was having an issue with his lower denture uh, on my Denture versus Food channel and he's never been able to control that lower denture ever he can't keep it glued in his glue only lasts for about an hour uh it's just driving him insane literally for four years now and he found my dentures versus food channel and he said that he binge watched my first lessons about the lower denture he binge watched him and he started practicing and he said that within four months he was able to go completely adhesive free on his lower denture and now he's comfortable enough that he can go out and eat with his family he still takes his time because he's you know still not completely comfortable being adhesive free because I it's like I've described before adhesive swells up in your denture and grips the gums and it feels like your gums are in a vice and for people that have been using adhesive for a very long time that's a hard feeling to get away from it's hard to get away from that because you can easily remove the dentures the bottom denture can still move around on you the top denture gets full of spit and feels like it's loose and you got to clench your teeth together and use your tongue and draw the spit out of that denture to tighten it back up again. And when you stop using adhesive, you're going to salivate a lot. You're not used to salivating that much because the adhesive blocks your salivary glands in the roof of your mouth. So it's all, it's, it's like learning dentures all over again when you stop using adhesive and it takes time, it takes time and effort and patience. And you notice every time I pause when I'm talking, I'm basically sucking the spit out of that top denture again. I know the correct term is I'm drawing the saliva out of the denture. I'm not politically correct. To me, it's spit. It's always been spit. I'm drawing the spit out of the denture and tightening it back up. And I do that so that it doesn't fall out of my mouth. And yes, even though denture fit makes your denture more snug and more comfortable, you're going to salivate a lot more if you're not using adhesive. And if you're not using adhesive and you're salivating more, your denture is going to fill up with spit and you're going to feel like it's loose. It's going to feel like it wants to fall out of your mouth. And it becomes habit to draw the saliva out of that denture on a regular basis. It just becomes a habit. It takes time, takes effort, 
get a little frustrated at times but it just takes time to draw the slide you know to get to the point where you're just used to doing it on a regular basis and you don't have to think about it anymore um, so what I've discovered is that on my dentures versus food channel for those people that are really wanting to get away from adhesive using my techniques and practicing and 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 practicing on a regular basis not just once a week or twice a week or whatever practicing every day on a regular basis it'll take anywhere from four to six months for you to be completely comfortable eating with your dentures without adhesive about four to six months that's a half a year out of your entire life to learn how to use your dentures and not everybody not everybody can go adhesive free I understand that some dentures are just too shallow to go adhesive free I get that but for those of you that can there's no better freedom in the world you get done eating a meal you go in the bathroom pop the denture out rinse it off put it back in and go on about your day no issues no fighting with adhesive and and trying to get the denture out of your mouth or just dealing with the denture being stuck in your mouth and dealing with food on your teeth because you can't rinse them you know you can rinse you can flush you know just swish soda or water or whatever around in your mouth but that doesn't necessarily you know sometimes that's not going to get the food stuck to your teeth off your teeth and sometimes you just have to live with that now you can carry a little toothbrush with you but you know I don't know very many people that are going to do that either so the beauty of having no adhesive is to be able to pop that denture out rinse it off use your fingers to run over the teeth make sure there's no food stuck to them and put it back in your mouth and go on about your day but it will take time it takes four to six months of constant steady practice and it's not something that's going to happen overnight it doesn't happen overnight it takes time it takes effort it takes willingness on your part to deal with the frustration and the little bit of aggravation and I always tell people that while you're practicing if you get really frustrated and you feel like you want to take your dentures out and throw them in the trash just put a little adhesive in them and wear them the rest of the day and practice again tomorrow that's the best way to do it so, if you want to watch the video of me taking, taking that car to my wife, click on my Bill's Life Like It or Don't channel linked, linked in the description. And uh, if you want to check out my Dentures vs. Food channel, a little window will pop up at the end of this video. There will be a, a little circle with a beer bottle in it. That's my Dentures vs. Food channel. You can click on that circle and go to my Dentures vs. Food channel and learn how to function properly with your dentures and eat properly with your dentures. That does two things. Number one, it can teach you how to go adhesive free or number two, it will teach you the techniques that you need to be able to retain the adhesive in that lower denture much longer throughout the day. So with all that being said, I hope everybody has an absolutely amazing day. I will see you in my next video. Don't forget to keep smiling, keep trying, and whatever you do, never give up.